Live from Marina Jack in downtown Sarasota, welcome to the New Year's Eve Fireworks Spectacular. Hello, everybody. I'm Grant Fox Lightner. And I'm Nicole Samavilla. Getting ready to celebrate this very happy new year. We're here at Marina Jack. We are the seventh annual fireworks over the bay. It's only going to be a few more minutes, folks, and we are going to watch these explode into the new year. It should be very exciting. It is a little bit chilly, but it's really not that bad. I know a lot of people were worried about the weather. That's right. Dan Henry has been talking about these 50 degree temperatures we might be seeing, but so far so good. It feels pretty good out here. Yeah, and our rain chances look pretty good for us to not be getting wet tonight, so that's always a plus. That's right, and uh, in just a moment, we're going to bring in the event chair, Tom DeLong. He's had so much to do with this. Uh, of course, the seventh annual, they work so hard out here at Marina Jack all year long, and uh, he's going to have a few things to say about this great event tonight. Yeah, it's really, really exciting. A lot of work goes into this, and if you saw the fireworks here on the 4th of July, I mean, we're all really in for a treat tonight. Yes, we are, and of course, a lot of things happening throughout the Sun Coast uh, in every community, and uh, if you're at SNN at home watching us right now, we're really glad that you're joining us. It's going to be a very special evening. Absolutely. All right. Well, Tom DeLong is going to join us now. He's going to step right in here. Tom, I'm going to give you the microphone. Okay. And uh, we were just talking about how much work goes into this, but uh, you've been at this for months. Yeah, it's a six month pre preparation for this event. And it's really a, it's just a steady stream of work from, from for the last six months from the from the uh, July time frame to the to all the way to now. Right. Wow. And so as far as the, the fireworks, they were set up earlier today. Of course, you've been working with the same uh, group for a while now. Yeah, so Zambelli is, is been, they're great partners. We've been using them with the uh, 4th of July for uh, well over 12 years now. So they're, they're great partners and they do a great job for us as well. And uh, they're just spectacular. And looking at them out over the, the water is just amazing. Yeah, they're pretty Absolutely. incredible. Talk to us about a little bit what goes into this planning. You were telling us before, as soon as the 4th of July fireworks are over, you start prepping for New Year's? Everything from risk management to sponsors to uh, picking out the display and the, wow. and, the, and the effects. So there's a lot of details involved. Uh, and for a night like tonight, we have about 5,000 people down here in the Bayfront um, for a city this size. It's just a lot of planning that, get, that gets involved with us. Indeed. And you're also the vice president of Marina Jack. Give us a sense of what's going on inside. We can hear the music. We can hear he people having a great time. Well, we, uh, we're we full. There's uh, <laughs> there's bands on every, uh, in every floor. And we also have uh, live music at, at O'Leary's next door. So we have lots of stuff going on down here. And we also have a, a live cruise on, uh, on the water tonight, the Marina Jack 2, with a live band as well. Wow. Oh, so pretty busy tonight. Lots of things going on. Absolutely. Well, well Tom, anything else that you want to say uh, to our viewers as we get ready to count down the new year? No, I don't think it's too early to say Happy New Year. At, uh, <laughs> so Happy New Year, and uh, you know, we look forward to an exceptional evening what's left of it. Yes, and Absolutely. we are looking forward to bringing all the folks at home that as well. Tom, thank you so Absolutely. much. Uh, we'll yeah, take thanks. that. We'll see you in a little Happy bit when we Happy count New down New those Year. fireworks. All right, that was Tom DeLong. Uh, he's getting us set. He's been doing all the behind the scenes things with his crew, and it's going to be a fun night. It should be a really fun night. A lot of people, they're just dressed to the nines with all their fun little, I mean, I have this <laughs> great little martini glass on my head. And I do have a party favor. It is a hat <laughs> that I will be breaking out as we get closer to mid night so you don't want to miss no. that but uh, it was a big year for stories here it on the was, Sun Coast. It was an absolutely incredibly big year. I mean we had so many things and one of the big ones was the eclipse. Right. Even though Florida didn't have that total uh, eclipse if you will we still got to see a lot of things but uh, I know that um, we have a story uh, geared up to see that so let's take a look at that now. Chad Percival has been an astronomy educator since 1970. My interest in astronomy goes back to when I was a little kid and my dad would show me some things in the sky. Including a partial eclipse when he was six years old. My love for astronomy was deepened significantly in March of 1970. When he saw his first total eclipse. And the word that came to mind after that was more. I wanted to see more. So he started chasing them with his wife, going to see five total eclipses on four continents. It's been so long since we've had one in the United States that most people don't know what they're missing. We will have 80% totality on the Sun Coast, but he said there's nothing like the real thing. This is in a whole different league, a league by itself. So he's driving up to Tennessee to see it with a special tool. I want to get something. I can. I want to show. Yeah. So this is a project that everybody in North America can do 
on eclipse day. Each one of those pinholes projects an image of the sun. 300 of them spelling out, and so it'll be a self-documenting picture. You want to have a cell phone to take that. And it's perfectly safe. So if you didn't have a chance to get those eclipse glasses, it's a good alternative to looking up at the sky. A memory-making uh, event, that, and everybody can do this. Take advantage now. The next total eclipse isn't here until 2024. That's right, unless you do traveling like I have. Uh, for most people, this will be a once-in-a-lifetime event now. In Sarasota, Halley Pilot, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. And that was Halley Pilot reporting on that eclipse. It was such a big deal on the Sun Coast all over the nation, really. Remember how everyone was trying to find those glasses? Yes, they were at libraries all over the place, but they were pretty hard to find they towards were. when it got closer to that eclipse. But uh, they certainly came in handy. We had a few around at SNN. We were able to go up <laughs> on the rooftop and watch that eclipse. So it'll yeah, it was that incredible. we'll never forget. That's yeah, right. Those types of things are cool. And another big story is we're taking some live pictures around the bayfront. There you see the, the big holiday display right over there. But uh, the world rolling championships we should mention that was a very big story a lot on the of people Suncoast. looking forward to that since everybody found out that it was going to be happening here and it was pretty big in 2017 was very big September into October 40,000 people and participants from around the yeah. world participated in this great event that number almost seems low to me I almost feel like we should have had more than that and I know multi millions of dollars in economic impact uh, helped a lot of businesses uh, in Manatee and Sarasota yeah. County so we were very fortunate to have that event we're Looking forward to a lot of other big events. Yeah, Nathan Benderson Nathan is really Benderson. going to be great for a lot of different things to happen there. Yes, a lot more big events coming, and we are just getting started here down at Marine and Jack for the big fireworks over the bay, and we will be right back, so don't go anywhere. Stay with us. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining us to ring in the new year together. We're here at Marina Jack for the seventh annual Fireworks Over the Bay. That's right, and we're so glad that you're joining us at home. And uh, we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be going to an interview that I conducted earlier this week, Lucy Nicandri. Oh, she's she so great. She is so amazing. You can't see enough about her with this event. She is the executive chair, uh, the executive director of the, the Suncoast Charities for Children. And this event right here helps that those people in so many charities so I want to show you that interview that I conducted with Lucy and uh, we'll take a listen and then we'll come back out on the other side. And Lucy Nicandri, the executive director of the Sun Coast Charities for Children, joins me now. And New Year's fireworks, the charity is heavily involved in this event. It is, Grant. And a lot of people aren't aware we produce not only the New Year's Eve fireworks in partnership with Marina Jack, but also the Bayfront fireworks on July 4th. The big display. During event. the Grand Prix yes. Festival as well. Um, and, and I get asked the question a lot, well, how does the charity benefit from this? And what do you walk away with? Well, um, because of the partnership with Marina Jack, we are able to leverage a lot of corporate sponsors and once expenses are covered with the fireworks and everything that has to go around that with infrastructure the remaining monies go into the charity um, you know pot so to speak yes. that'll help us fundraise and continue through the year so uh, it is a big fundraiser for us and, and we got to thank our generous sponsors that help produce it and cover those expenses and every little bit helps so the more people that participate in this event it is just a, a free fireworks display but if people spend money down on the bayfront at Marina Jack does some of that money um, come wind up back at the charity? Indirectly, yes. You know, Marina Jack is a big sponsor for Suncoast Charities for Children. So they put in a cash sponsorship. A lot of their vendors put in cash sponsorships as well. Uh, and that goes towards the bottom line, like so I said. By earlier, helping so. the vendors, then they yeah. can, uh, you know, in turn be able to be able help to the give charity us. And, and, it, and it all works itself out. Yeah. Now, of course, uh, you've got another big event coming up after New Year's. We uh, do. We do. The 20th annual Thunder by the Bay Motorcycle Festival. And I'm really excited this year because it's 20 years and and we've come a long way in 20 years. And you're back in the city of Sarasota. We are. Sort we are. of, not downtown, but still a big deal. It still is, a, it's a big deal. Um, our 20th anniversary this year, we're doing a lot of new and different things. We're gonna have a kickoff party on Thursday at Michael's on East. Friday is gonna be downtown, Bikes on Main Block Party. That's right, it's still yeah. downtown. And then the weekend. Saturday and Sunday at the Sarasota 
Sarasota County Fairgrounds and what's what's great about the fairgrounds is we can expand even more. We're going to have fireworks, we're going to have freestyle demos, a lot of vendors, music, continuous music. And the best part it's free of charge. There's no admission. A so, big venue and it's right yeah. in the shadow of downtown. It is. It really is. It's going to work out just fine and and we're excited to have that Friday block party back downtown on Main Street as well because it, it'll give the motorcyclists a chance to ride downtown and then the fairgrounds isn't too far away. So it's Indeed. the best of both worlds. So as far as the New Year's fireworks, we're actually getting very close to that right now. And yeah. Uh, people yeah. are in for a big show, aren't they? They are. And they're, and I'm sure during the program you're going to talk a lot of the, about the behind the scenes that goes into this because events just don't happen. There's teams and teams of people that have to prep for it and get ready for it. And there's a lot of hard work that goes behind and it. And with the little amount of time that we have, let's, let's mention a couple of those names that have really been for years in some cases helped this event make it what it is. Well, we certainly want to thank Zambelli Fireworks. They work with us um, on all the fireworks displays and they've been great to the charity. Marina Jack, obviously. Mm. Um, the media, SNN, you've been with us every year on this, so we, we greatly appreciate the support. bringing this to the uh, Sun Coast every year. We look forward to it. And we appreciate everyone's support. Lucy, keep up the great work and thanks, thanks so Grant. much for joining it's us. awesome as always. Yes. It's great. Lucy, thank you again for that interview, and you can just hear just how busy she is, and she oh does so much for Doing this community. Doing so much great work. It's really nice to see, and these kids, of course, benefiting tremendously from all this work. Absolutely, and won't be long, and she'll be getting, as she mentioned, work on the Thunder by the Bay Festival. Yes, that that's pretty exciting, too. If you've never in, been, you should come out and join us indeed, there. Indeed, in February, of course, we're one of the big sponsors of that, mm -hmm. but we have to talk about New Year's resolutions. Yes, it's almost time for the fireworks, almost time for a new year. What's that saying? People say, like, new year, new me. New year. <laughs> new me, new year, time to go work out again. Time yes, to that's always the gym. a huge resolution yes. for a lot of people, eating healthy, going to the gym. It is, and I'll be trying to do that as well. Um, it's going to be a big year for me, and and this was a big year for you. you yeah, took it was your a place really good year. On, I was so happy to yes. join your side on the evening edition. Yes, it was a really nice year. We're so happy to have you there on the oh, evening thanks, desk. Chris. Happy been, to be here. Yeah, we, we, we have such a good time uh, working at SNN, bringing you the news <laughs> every night that we can do that. And, and we'll just keep doing that in the new year. I think I'm going to work on my patience. That's one of my resolutions. Patience. Especially on the road. I'm going to try to do a little more traveling this year. I, I like that I one to too. I'm going to add that to my list. Open up and, and add those, what is traveling. it, the stamps to your well, passport. Yes, add a few more. That's right. And you, of course, took some nice trips. You were, I did. You I was were, really blessed to have yes. the ability. Iceland, Iceland Italy. and Italy. Yeah. That was nice. Yeah, it was a really good I, year for me, I guess. Wow. <laughs> it is. And hopefully another big year and hopefully you at home you're getting ready for another big yeah. year in 2018 it won't be long now and we'll be counting it down you're taking some live pictures now we're just getting ready you can see yeah. folks gathering a there lot of people on here. the railing a lot of people behind us a lot of boats here in the harbor and there are people out on their boats right now getting ready for this amazing fireworks display yeah. that we are about to bring you yeah and the pineapple drop too downtown yes. Sarasota, a lot of people there just a stone's throw away down yeah. there and there's a lot of people gathered down for that event Event, uh, up and down the Sun Coast tonight. It is what a, a place huge to be. We always night. say we're living in paradise, we and there's are, so much going on here. We are definitely in paradise, and uh, it won't be long now. We are just what a couple more minutes from saying goodbye to 2017, and then it's time to break out the hat. Yes. Where are our party favors? I don't we know. Need, I'm already wearing one of mine. We need Almost party knocked favors. it off my head yeah. just there. I got a little too excited. <laughs> we need one of those things. I always forget what they're called. Noisemakers. Yes, we need the noisemakers. We need the little horns. It, Whatever we can do, I do have my hat. Yes. We'll see if uh, somebody that has, for a, the big has a party favor. But it's almost Happy New Year. We are coming much back with much more, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. And we are just uh, practicing our Macarena. I know. That's what they're it's doing. It's playing right now, Marina Jack. Da, 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 Macarena. Da, 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 da. Yeah, we got the hang yeah, of it, right? Yeah, we got it. That's right. And so people are having such a great time out here. We're, We're glad you're joining time. us. It won't be long now. We've got the fireworks just ahead. Yeah, so in the meantime, we want to take a little look back at some of the things that happened here on the Sun Coast in 2017. More recently, an incredible story out of Tampa. I believe it was in Russia. 
second. The emotion of this it story. Was, it was incredible. So SNN's Nadine Young, her very own brother, was there at the scene. A house caught on fire. Her he, brother had just finished his shift as a firefighter. He was an off-duty firefighter in Tampa, and his neighbor's house catches on fire. Yeah, and this is what happens next. Listen in. Here's Nadine Young. This year, Luigi spent Christmas at Tampa Fire Rescue Station 13. My brother, a firefighter, worked overnight with his station family. Rough night, so went home to sleep, and I was awoken by my family saying that my neighbor's house was on fire. At first, I was a little dazed, just like, on fire, what? I looked out the window, saw smoke everywhere, and knew how to get out there. Without hesitation and still sleepy, my brother grabbed his boots, ran into the burning house where our neighbor, Paul Gregory, was inside on the floor. Luigi carried him out. I went inside the house probably about four or five times. Every time was to try and make a, get further inside. Uh, I don't have any mask or air, none of my equipment's all at the station. Um, so I was trying to do what I can do with what I got. What he has? is training from Tampa Fire Rescue. That's second nature. It's what we do, is what we're trained for. My mother, Dallas, is a registered nurse at James A. Haley Veteran Hospital. She was the first person attending to Gregory. When Hillsborough County Fire arrived on scene, Luigi and Dallas assisted in the recovery of Gregory's two dogs performing CPR. Luigi working hand in hand to out the fire. I know the procedures for the most part. I mean, they needed a hydrant, so I took that task so I can achieve that for them while they can work on something else. Standing three feet away from the blaze, both of us covered in soot, my brother helped the helpless, putting someone's life above his own. On duty, off duty, always a firefighter. It's all said and done. He won't ever say it, but he's a hero. Ah. <laughs> Reporting in Ruskin, Nadine Young, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Wow. Just amazing. I know. And, uh, I just, I cannot get enough of that he, last shot at the end yes. with her walking with her brother. And he so is a me. hero. He doesn't he want is. to say it, but Nadine said it. He's definitely a he hero. He really is. And what an amazing story that was. Amazing story. And another amazing story, sports, Venice football. It was an amazing year for those Venice yes, Indians. Yes, they were. And the, the volleyball team won a title, but yeah. the Venice mm -hmm. Indians football team, they upset St. Thomas Aquinas. And uh, Lyndon Blake has a look back at that amazing season. Let's take a look at that now. It's the moment that has clinched its second state title in school history, beating Barton Trail 37 to 24 and the 7A state title. I, I felt good at the end of the first quarter. I mean, I just, I just know we just got to keep playing and keep hanging on. I know how this momentum stuff works, and uh, they kind of got the got the momentum at the end. But our, our kids kept fighting and did a really good job. Coach, talk about the result. Quarterback Bryce Carpenter scoring all of Venice's touchdowns, capping off a four-year career as an Indian. I mean, just coming up with these guys and uh, you know just working hard with them, and you know not you know it was just a bunch of kids that stuck together and worked hard. Uh, you know, give it up to our kids. They fought hard. We had a good game plan. They came focused and ready to play, and uh, you know it's. it's it's all there. It's all they're doing. Jeremy Trebles led the team with eight solo tackles. <laughs> Zach Sessa nailing three field goals. Saturday's win, a team effort from the players <laughs> to the coaches. We really feel honored to come to this field. You know, those are our guys, and we're our family. You know, at Venice football, you know, that was that, that was the win. It was their win as a team, but it was an important win for the whole program. You know, it, was, um, it instilled that tradition that we still have, and it was like the whole family got to celebrate together. And to see them reach the pinnacle of high school football was so exciting. The trophy inspiring even the littlest Indians to chase their dreams of winning a state championship. Bryce Carpenter, Drew Strike. Javon Hyde. Are you going to play like them when you get older? Yes. Reporting in Venice, I'm Lyndon Blake. All right, and well, this Happy New Year hat that I'm about to don, it's kind of like Venice Green. Uh, it is, actually. To, yeah, so this is not bad. Uh, congratulations again to the Indians on a great it was season. quite a season. And, and the um, whole community really rallied together for them, wishing them good luck and on their way to those games. That's right, they had that barbecue. They're getting ready to have a parade in the new year, so that's going to be exciting for them. And right now, you're looking at live coverage down here as we're getting ready. It won't be long now, and those fireworks are going to explode.
explode over the bayfront. Thousands of people, Nicole, down here yes. for this big event. It's incredible. I've spoken to people for the 4th of July and even here tonight that say they have come from all over the nation specifically to see these fireworks. So it's a pretty big deal. You would be hard pressed to get somebody, uh, to, I mean, to have a more picturesque setting. And uh, yes. it looks like we just had a guest right there, but that's okay. Everybody's having He's a good excited. time out here on New Year's. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And uh, Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. So what is this? Is this a, would you say it's a martini glass, champagne? I don't know. I think it's probably champagne given the setting yes. of New Year's. Uh, it's very festive. It's, I've never seen very, anything like this. Very festive. It's got this a little bit of a This was a gift from our lovely friends at SNS. Yes, that's so, okay. right. And uh, you are wearing it proudly and you look very nice tonight. Thank you. You look nice as always. I'm excited to see you with this hat on. <laughs> I'm going to try to Putting do that. Putting you on the but, spot here. But, uh, when it we're gets gonna, closer to the Yeah, we're going we're gonna to wait until uh, we get a little bit closer to the countdown, but it won't be long, folks. We're glad you're spending some time with us as we ring in 2018. It's going to be exciting. And it's not too chilly either. No. I was worried. I wore sleeves. Da I have on stockings. Dan had us prepared. We dressed for the weather. We have layers on. We do. At least uh, I do. <laughs> it's nothing like in New York City or, I mean, we were watching before we came right. down here. It's like, 10 degrees up in New York and even New Orleans they were seeing their breath but mm -hmm. uh, we are Not coming back here yes we're coming back with more stay with us Welcome back, everybody, to the big fireworks over the bay. It's almost 2018. Just a few more minutes, Nicole, and it's going to be a special night. It really should be a special night. A lot of things have happened in 2017, a lot of good, but there were some bad things, like Hurricane Irma, for example. Probably the biggest story mm -hmm. to hit Florida this year, Hurricane Irma, affecting the Sun Coast as yeah. well as much of the state. And of course, we carry that 12-hour uh, live wall coverage. coverage, trying to keep everybody safe and informed. As it was going through, that's right, uh, we were live on the air as that was happening. We wanted to make sure everybody was safe. Let's take a look back now. Jack O'Connor putting some last-minute protection on his mobile home. He calls her Tin Lizzie. You know, it's uh, like a Band-Aid on a cut juggler vein, but well, what we're expecting, it's going to be a monster for this place. After he's done leaving to stay with a friend. I wouldn't stay here. No way. But some of his neighbors, not as concerned. Yeah, I'm kind of worried about it. Gonna do, it's gonna do. Phillips isn't going anywhere. I plan to see a lot of limbs down, power lines down, you know, maybe the siding ripped off. The potential damage is not enough to scare him away. They're not playing with a full deck. You know, they think it's like, hey, let's have a hurricane party. They, they, they don't realize. Hugh Steele is also staying in Osprey, but his home has hurricane protection. He said this maybe go to a two story, which I, I'm on the second floor. He's no stranger to a natural disaster. Yeah. Lived in Indiana with tornadoes, and that's the end of mobile home parks. So if he were in one, he wouldn't be so quick to stay. Probably would have gotten up and left. I've been down here for a long time now, and I, I went through Charlie, and I know what can do. Just hoping his neighbors underestimating Irma stay safe. They don't really have the grasp of the whole thing. You think it's going to be a storm. This is just not a storm. This thing's a monster. In Osprey, Halley Pilot, SNN, the Suncoast News Network. Now is SNN's Halley Pilot covering that story. Yes, and uh, some people were out power for several weeks. days and yeah. even weeks in some cases. So glad everybody's back to normal, getting ready to celebrate a new year. Hope we won't be dealing with any hurricanes. Yeah, it's a while before hurricane season comes back. So hopefully That's it'll right. be a more mild season next but, year. But there were some fun things that happened there also. There were, there were. One particular thing you did in your Feel Good Friday was extra fun. Yes, it They're was. They're all fun, but that one was very Fidget exciting. Fidget spinners, everybody. <laughs> they were all the rave. And, yes, they uh, were. As and Lyndon Blake has a closer look at those. Walking into Learning Express Toys, it's difficult not hearing the question. Where are the fidget spinners? The hot new toy hitting the Sun Coast following a nationwide explosion in demand in recent months. Fidget spinners look simple. A small device you can spin in your hand. So why are they in such high demand? We've sold a few thousand in basically two months. Christopher Stoltz is one of the owners of Learning Express Toys of University Parkway, witnessing firsthand the sudden need for these gadgets. 
the most common customer, kids with anxiety, ADHD, or autism. Because um, fidgeting is a form of release, so instead of clicking the pen and everything, it's just another form to fidget with. Allowing an outlet for stress and anxiety. Not only are fidget spinners therapeutic for children with autism or ADHD, the spinny toys are also a collector's item. The kids trade them, they do different tricks with them. Uh, they basically bounce them on their nose, on their forehead, all different, different things like that. Some schools banning them because they have gotten so out of hand, depriving kids who really need them. But if it helps a kid with ADHD or anxiety, um, I would think that the teachers would allow those specific students to bring them in. With such high demand, Stoltz thinks the toys will not stop spinning off the shelves anytime soon. And those really were all the rage. Yes, I still have one. They are kind of fun to play with. I know one of our producers, Robert, has one of those. Yes, he does, and he's in the control room with us tonight, and I'm sure he has Scowling his, at me right now. This fidget spinner. But we've been trying to amass these party favors, so far we got the hat. You've got your nice little headpiece, but uh, I've been asking about noisemakers around the folks around here. Oh, and she's, she's got She's a got her sparkler. She's ready to go. Be with those. And lots of uh, other things happening, but uh, still trying to get one of those noise makers that we can blow at the uh, stroke of midnight Yeah, what's here. a girl got to do to get one of those yeah. around here? Can anybody, New Year's maybe, Eve. Can, can we get one? <laughs> we are having a great time out here at Marina Jack. We're so glad that you've joined us here as we count into 2018, the fireworks over the bay. It's really, really exciting. I wonder what 2018 is going to bring. We're hearing a lot of music and a lot of things happening here, but uh, it's all going to stop when those fireworks go off. People are going to go out and take their look. Lots of people in boats. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people out on the bay, downtown for the pineapple drop, a lot of people inside here, outside yes. on their boats. A lot of people, and we've been talking about this all week, a lot of people right at home with us, and we're yeah. so glad that uh, you're joining us, and we're coming right back to count the fireworks in. Tom's going to go. count us in. Here we go.
Happy Do New you Year, hear everybody. These I'm hearing all the honking. I'm hearing the loud seal of approval here on the bayfront. Those fireworks they were, were incredible. incredible. I mean, they always are, but they it just are. impresses me every time that I see them. That finale was like rocking our set here. I know. It was, it was so exciting. <laughs> and we're so grateful that you joined in yes. with us, and we all rang in 2018 together. That's right, and we are looking forward to a big year. We look forward to having you join us here on SNN. We look forward to bringing you all the news, weather, and sports for another big year. Here's to a healthy and happy 2018. That is right. And uh, I think we still have a, a couple more, we have some more party minutes favors. to go. We're looking for them. People are still uh, hanging out there. They're waving Everyone's to us. Everyone's excited. Everyone's having a great time. We're glad that they're joining with us. Uh, they're we, having a good time. Yes, they are. Look at this. Hey, anybody have a good Anybody have any party favors? <laughs> uh, I was still looking for my my horn. Anybody got one of those? Uh, I mean, I guess do you hear not. these cheers? Everybody's having <laughs> such a good time. They I don't are. think there's a sad face and, in the crowd. And the party goes on, and the music mm -hmm. will continue here. People will continue to enjoy themselves mm -hmm. tonight. The pineapple, of course, should. dropped, and so everybody having a great mm -hmm. time and on I the And I do want to mention coast. that while you do and have a great time, please remember as you leave whichever party you're at to do so safely. Toe to go, it's free. And, and going until Tuesday morning, yes. so you have plenty of time to take advantage please of that. Uh, or call the Uber, ride sharing. Lyft taxi, anything that you want to do to get home safely. We want to make sure you have a good time, but we want to make sure that you're with us for 2018 because it's going to be another big year here on SNL. I sure hope so. It should be a great year. Everybody's so excited. I'm a little chilly, but I've forgotten about it because I'm having right. so much it, fun. I noticed at midnight that temperature dropped ever so slightly. So, <laughs> But there's no rain, so that's really, really good news. That is very important. My nose is and, running, though, because I'm a little chilly. And some of the no people rain. now with, with families are making their way out of here, but uh, we're still going to be with you a couple more more minutes you can see some of the folks behind us uh, there were thousands of people on the bayfront yeah, tonight so and, the seventh uh, annual fireworks over in the fact, bay folks uh, folks are saying hi and uh, we, we don't mind that everybody's having a good time here on new hey, year's 20. day happy new year Happy New Year. Happy 2018. Now, how long do you think and it's going to take you to remember to write 2018 <laughs> on the paper? I know. I when you sign, like when you're, you're signing uh, your, you, maybe one of your checks or something, yeah. I, I always put the wrong date for the first three months. It just three always months. happens. And I was going to say two, three weeks. But <laughs> <laughs> it does take time. Yeah, it does it really take does. a little bit of time to do that. So, I've been doing it for a but, year. Uh, I, I like this hat. I mean, yeah. can keep you this, fit this over your actually, headset? Because it doesn't, I tried, it just doesn't quite fit yeah. enough. Enough, but, but it's festive. Just don't yes, move your head at all. It's good if I can just kind of. There we go. Hey. Uh, <laughs> tops and, and I can off. Top, hats off. I, I always say tops off. I thought maybe in 2018 I'd get it right. Off. Yes, that's right. Hats tops off. Tops off. Hats off to Top you, uh, hat. everybody. Hats off to our SNN viewers. And, uh, maybe in 2019 this. I'll get that expression right. <laughs> but this one I can actually recycle because it does not have the 2018. Yeah, you can. Or wear I can it maybe next write year. something. Yeah, we may. Be I think able I'm going to have to keep this little hat too because. <laughs> I mean, this is outstanding. It I don't looks, know where it was it found. It looks very good. Well, it was found on your desk. This was it a was, gift This from is a mystery. SNN I have to find out yes. which incredible <laughs> SNN employee has given me That's this gift. That's right. And it, uh, it certainly uh, was perfect for the evening and all the festive occasion as we continue to celebrate down here at Marina Jack with you folks. And uh, that's going to do it, I think. Yeah. So, Happy New Year. Thanks for spending it with us. And we're going to check in with the Weekend Edition.